So let's look at the EQ and the dynamics with the Genesis. These are an option which can be added eight at a time and plugged in the back of the console and they can be added in at any time you want. So let's see how we can control the EQ and the dynamics on the Genesis. So to access the EQ, you simply go and press the cell button for the channel that you want to access, which will open the screen. And then you can control the EQ using the encoders in the master section. So to access the dynamics, simply go to the channel you want, like the EQ, select the cell button twice, which will bring up the compressor, and then you can simply adjust the compressor using the encoders as you did with the EQ. With the EQ um, displayed, you can now quite easily see the three controls, which are a genuine 1084 EQ unit. It shows you the bass frequencies, the mid frequencies and the treble frequencies, along with the channel that you have selected and a high cue which simply switches between a broad cue and a narrow cue. Not only can you alter the parameters of the EQ, you can also bypass the EQ as well. This is very, very similar to when you bypass a plug-in EQ. You see, you've got on and off, which is a sort of like a channel bypass as it were, but, it, but the on and offs are automatable. The bypass is a compare. You know, on a, a plug-in, you have a compare. You you say as it sound, that's what you're you're doing. Yeah, a being it as it were. So it's a subtle difference. Everything's been set back to zero on the EQ, you're the EQ but you're going through the EQ. Yeah. Yeah. Along with the EQ controls, we have some function function buttons along the bottom, which allow you to bypass, allow you to copy an EQ, and then paste the EQ into another channel, and also we can set up links in order that we can have a stereo EQ or we can have 5.1 EQs. And here are the F1 to F5 keys that used to switch these functions at the bottom of the EQ and dynamic screens. The compressor is a classic three control unit. It has a ratio, threshold and release with a fast attack and also it, the compressor can have a sidechain input and also can have an EQ put in its sidechain as well. The compressor um, also has a linking ability between channels and again, like the EQ, has a bypass. Again, down the bottom, we can copy this compressor and we can then paste it into another channel's compressor. And we can also, like with the EQs, link compressors together for stereo or 5.1 operations. In addition to the total reset system, there is an optional recall package for the console as well. And this will allow you to reset the analog controls which are not digitally resettable. The recall files are stored with the reset stores and can be brought up through the filing system. Simply click onto a store that you wish to load and load. And this will completely reset the console digitally and then we'll go and ask you if you wanted to start the recall. It's now loaded the console settings, so let's now start the recall process. It's automatically gone to the first channel that doesn't match the recall settings. So simply, we just need to adjust the highlighted controls so they match the settings. Now the console completely matches and we're ready to go. The console can come with um, optional on-call automation which is the automation system that is used on the large um, ATAR and DFC consoles. The Encore automation system covers the automation of the faders and also the events of the channels, which are the channel cuts, the monitor cuts, the auxiliary on and offs, and the EQ in and out, dynamics in and out, and the inserts. Encore automation is a serious automation system that you use to automate within the Genesis console as we would on a large format analog console like the ATAR or the DFC. It is a very powerful package, but it's incredibly simple to use. Pressing on the icon to automate will allow you to get straight into mixing. So now we're actually ready to record a mix and the mix tree has come up. This tells you the starting point and the 1.1 this is the Encore screen, mix screen, and it's created the initial snapshot, and this is where we're going to start our mix from. 
I put the system into record and simply pressing the run button now starts the time code. We can now actually then start to write automation. Simply pressing the run button again will allow us to replay the automation. Now you can see here we have the initial snapshot. We made our mix and now we have moved on to the first milestone of the mix. We can keep adding and making changes to the mix, the second set of mix, and when we stop the time code, it's then updated to the third pass of the mix one. So we're on the fourth mix pass and we can add to the mix, go back to the earlier mixes, trim the mix, we can coalesce. There is a lot of powerful features. The console supports a fantastic A to D and D to A option, which can be connected to the channel inputs, the monitor inputs for the door return, and to the direct outputs to send your recordings to the door. Not only that, it can have a monitor firewire card fitted as well, so that that will allow you to send the eight track outputs, the main stereo mix output, the two track mixer, the auxiliaries, can all be sent to the door, along with the door being able to return a digital input into the monitoring system. And all of this is over a single firewire cable. So all you need is a DAW, a Genesis, and a couple of decent monitors, and you've got a professional recording studio. As well as being an amazing analog console, the Genesis is a very powerful DAW controller. So what we've got here is a DAW being controlled by the Genesis faders. We can control faders, cuts, plugins, auxiliary sends. So here you can see we're controlling Pro Tools with 16 Genesis faders. We have solos and cuts. So now we can select pan controls and we can also bank the pan controls in sets of four. And now we're controlling the pans on channels five to eight. So we can also control the plugins here as well and we're going to control an EQ. This can be brought up on the F1 function we can control the first band, the second band, and the third band. So we've done a tour of Genesis and shown just how powerful the system is with its analog sound, digital connectivity, automation, and door control. You can find out more about Genesis from our website. You can download the manuals or you can give us a call.